are back here on Girl Talk. Michelle Taylor has joined us from Birdie James. And we had fun in our first segment. We talked about shoes. Oh, yeah. But and we talked about summer, but autumn is in the air. Yes. And you're so cute. This is a woman with a plan and you're getting ready. <laughs> Look at her, <laughs> she's already got it going on. Right. You got fall in the mind. Exactly, yes. so yes. talk to us, we are very interested. So I, I'm wearing a little bit of a different color scheme than y'all are. You're, you're all very summery. It is the, the high, we're in high swing of summer, but I've got autumn on the mind because I'm headed to market. Yes. First week of August. Exactly. So I'm wearing these Baroque pearls in like a blush color and then this olive color is pretty amazing this fall. Talk to me about Baroque pearls. What does that mean? I see the other thing that you're doing is quite a bit of layering. Yes. I think for a lot of us, I'm a, it's a little, it can be intimidating. Yes. So how does that happen? Okay, here's the answer. You can just sit there and look pretty. Yeah. We go see her and she will suit us up. And right, fit help us me out. Yes. Yeah. Dress me out. I think yeah. we called it armor last right. time we a little did. bit. You know, it's, I love the jewelry that we have because we can really mix and match. Yeah. Um, I have gotten increasingly more confident and comfortable wearing this much. I used to, used to be very simplistic, like you all are, but it's so fun to, to play dress up sometimes. Um, it takes your whole have, outfit though, that is very simple. It turns Way, it into something yes. so you different. Know, right. It sophisticates it. And it's right. purposeful. Yes. It looks as if she had something in mind or right. a purpose. But it's still kind of effortless because yeah. it's all kind of just relaxed. It is. It is. It's chic. It's yeah. not really like in your face, right. but like it looks so good Thank all together. Yeah. Talk to us about trends that you're seeing, because one of the things I'm noticing with what you're wearing is it looks really comfortable. It is, right. yeah, and that's very important for Hilton Head, right? So wide leg pants. We have a lot of so the, cute. you know, this is a split leg up to the knee. So you're not really, you still have full coverage. Is that a non-wrinkle material as yes, well? Because yeah. I don't see any these wrinkles These are by Ripley Raider again. I, I swear by Ripley Raider. I but love you it. have to tell them too, because I tried these on. I fell in love with them and they were too long and you were hilarious. What'd you tell me to do? With the cut long pants. The oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Cut off, I, I had a brain for a second. <laughs> no, you just cut off the bottom in some of their pants. You can cut it off with a, a fabric scissors and you don't have to hem it. I would have to do the same thing. Which is amazing. Thing. Yeah. So, so short. a shorter woman can still get the same look that someone like me, I'm 5'9", gets. Mm -hmm. And I have a platform on too with these shoes. So, you know, some of them we will need to hem, but you can still get the high-waisted look without kind of looking drown in right, it, you know? Right. But that's all about the styling and that's what we want to do at Birdie James anyway. So aside from this olive green, is there any new color that yes. are entering the fashion yes, arena? Yes, there's a, there's a wine color, a rich, a rich like burgundy. Mm -hmm. I, I love to use the term, sorry, I love to use the term oxblood. Okay. Because it's yeah. just kind of a, rich. a, a really right. rich. It's kind of fierce, right? Yes, it is. right. So lots of greens, military greens mm -hmm. and oxblood. I feel like they were back in a few seasons ago, but what you see in the trends is that old always comes back. So it kind of recycles. Another thing, yeah. shoes wise. Yeah, talk to us about <laughs> shoes. Exactly, so we were talking yeah. about that in the first. Platforms are big. Um, and then also what I really love, and this is perfect for tall women and shorter women, a black heel. Now, what does that mean? It's like a, you know, like a kitten heel. Yes. So a shorter heel, but then you truly have a block, like a rectangle as the heel. And they're doing two tones, so you'll have a gold shoe and a silver block heel. Oh, I love that. Um, so if you look at all the major brands, you know, places like J. Crew, and, you know, look in the fashion magazines, they're really, really focusing on this. What do you feel like you're going to be focusing on this year at Bernie James as far as market? Are you looking at accessories? Because accessories, you seem to really be able to pull your outfits together with those. I noticed hats, gorgeous hats when we came in, right. boots, booties, all kinds of really interesting things. Right. I feel like for, for shoes, booties, even an open-toed booty for this type of weather is perfect for, mm -hmm. the, for the winter time and the fall. Um, I am going to focus more on uh, accessories and, and apparel because that's what, yeah. you know, what we offer, but loose, effortless looking pieces. So this is a basic t-shirt. Okay. So I want to be able to offer a really nice, affordable price point and then being able to kind of take it up a notch with jewelry or a nice pant or, you know, spend a little on shoes. On your Facebook page, I think the other day in social yeah. media, you had the coolest tunic on. Did I make that up? No. It was amazing. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I think it's all we cool. We actually follow her. Talk to me about yeah. that look, because I thought that looked really comfortable. You love a good tunic. I do. Okay. I know you do. Yeah, tunics are just really easy because you can, for no matter what age you have, you can always put a legging with it, or you can do uh, an ankle length 
you know, skinny jean, which everyone loves. I feel like yeah. ankle length looks good on anybody, any age, any size. Mm -hmm. What about layering? Are you still seeing a lot of layering or are you layering with your accessorizing? You can, st you can still layer with, you know, putting tanks. Lots of women, my client really wants arm coverage. Okay. So I love, especially through the fall, any time of year, year around here, putting a tank on and then throwing something over it mm -hmm. to yeah. layer it really gives it movement mm -hmm. and then you still have coverage. What's happening with scarves? Are they kind of off to the wayside That's now? That's a great question, no. Scarves are great. You can, we're gonna be getting cashmere in in about a month or so, I'll be buying more cashmere. Um, because that's a great travel. A lot of a lot of our clients will say, "Oh, this is the perfect airplane sweater." Yeah, which is yeah, perfect, yeah. Because we right. have a lot of jet setters here, right? Exactly. So um, the scarves are a great accessory to have too, because even if you don't want all of that around your neck, tie it onto your handbag mm -hmm. and throw it over your shoulder. Oh, you're there. So, so it's a pop yeah. of color. Yeah. I love you know it. What I mean? So here, here's the takeaway because we've got to go. Takeaway. Takeaway. Go see Michelle at Birdie James. You yes. will not be disappointed. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be back on Girl Talk.